We need multidisciplinary approaches to tackle any complex health problem today, and pharmacy is inherently multidisciplinary. We go from the basic science up to the practice of pharmacy. So it is like having a small uh, biotech company within the faculty. Not only we have decades of experience, but also expertise and infrastructure enabling us to do cutting edge research from bench to bedside to benefit patients. The Faculty of Pharmacy at the University of Sydney was the first institution to train pharmacists in Australia. Our mission is to make a difference to patient outcomes and everything we do, not only in training of pharmacists but in our research profile, is geared towards that end. We do research in the area of mental health, cardiovascular and obesity, uh, respiratory diseases, cancer and in health science services and patient outcomes. The impact of molecular biology and genetics is really the way we think about the etiology of the disease and the pathophysiology and how we then target those genes in order to treat a particular disease. The two main receptors that we look at are the GABA-A receptors and the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors and these are involved in a variety of diseases that target the brain. We develop a model of the protein itself, we look at the way in which molecules bind, where they bind, and then identify new molecules through a in silico screening or in vitro screening. And once we find a core structure, we can then develop new molecules from that. In the field of drug delivery, we do conventional formulations, so delivery of small molecules. But now we are focusing on advanced drug delivery. We focus on the dry powder inhalation system, including both the powder formulation and the inhaler devices. We look at how the formulation interacts with the inhaler to generate the aerosol. Most recently, we're exploring bacteriophages, viruses that can specifically target and devour bacteria. And we're exploring the use of bacteriophages against superbugs in the lung. The projects are funded by the U.S. National Institutes of Health and also by the Australian Research Council. We've been very fortunate to be able to do all this fantastic research, cutting-edge research in the faculty. But at the end of the day, it's the people that make it happen. In the past, we've had three discipline areas within the faculty. These have been pharmaceutics, pharmaceutical chemistry, and pharmacy practice. Several years ago, we decided to disband these disciplines so that we would not be working in silos, but in collaborative teams. Both Faculty of Pharmacy and the Australian Institute of Nanoscale Science and Technology, they provide extremely good environment to run the nanomedicine research. We set up here nanobio characterization facility, which is listed within the top 5% in the world in this area. One of the very important projects which we run here is on multifunctional drug delivery systems. We can carry a drug, but we can also use the same carrier for visualization, for the imaging purposes. The primary application for us is the fibrosis, liver and the lung fibrosis, and in the long run is the lung cancer and the liver cancer. To provide health solutions, we need to work not only in basic pharmaceutical sciences, but also on the practice or policy area, and that's what we are doing in our research teams. The Charles Perkins Center uses multidisciplinary approaches to find solutions to diseases like obesity, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. We have a number of projects going. One is we assess how research is being used in public health guidelines. So these are very uh, complex guidelines like dietary guidelines or environmental risk guidelines. We study bias in the entire research process, everything from the research agenda to publication. For example, we've discovered biases related to hidden data by the pharmaceutical industry, and that's helped uh, develop policies related to open access to data. In the past, the primary concern of pharmacists was a product. We have realized that now the patient needs to be at the center if we are to be effective in changing the way healthcare and pharmaceutical services are delivered. The challenges uh, in, in real world pharmaceutical science research really come down to the applicability of the information that we're looking at. The Centre for Research Excellence in Medicines and Ageing 
uh, primarily focuses on older people, but really it looks at all adults with chronic health conditions. One of the research areas I'm particularly interested in is why people vary in their response to medicines. These studies have revealed some very interesting findings. Diet and other practices such as how food is prepared or cooked can seem to have a big impact uh, on the way medicines are metabolised in the body, which in turn can guide how we might choose the optimal dose for that medicine in these people. The Faculty of Pharmacy at this university provides 20% of all pharmacists in Australia. Not only that, but we provide the leaders of our profession. We believe this is a very exciting time because there are new opportunities for pharmacists and pharmaceutical scientists to contribute to whole of health solutions rather than just pharmacy specific solutions.